window A index. I'll put that before the last guy. Like so. Wow, this iPhone is taking forever. I'm gonna have to force quit it. Seems like some state gets corrupted and that prevents a lot of functionality from working properly. Yeah, so I just held it down for a long time and it turned off. And now we're finally starting back up again. was I about to do now? It's about to debug. So going back to this. Are we going to be able to run now? Turn black. That's a good sign. But that happened last time as well. This is a test sound. Huh. Interesting. Notice that the value is always the same. Uh, you know what it is. I'm stupid. I am very stupid. Yeah. This is... Okay. I just had the realization. It's funny how the, the bug solving comes all at once. Um... I had to force quit it. I think this restart issue might be related to printf's because once I terminated this thing the app started running at full speed I guess because the output stream disappeared but uh, somehow yeah ha having this much stuff might trigger the restart might force a restart yeah but okay let's look at this data so this is M window A sample this is the envelope value, this is the index, the buffer index, and this is the resultant value. All the same, negative, whatever. And why do you think that might be? I'm going to guess that the very first value is negative 325, or 325, or whatever. That's what I would guess. So let's take a look. Ah, uh, you know what, that might... Yeah, it's not going to help so much. Yeah, but this is the very first value. This is before anything happens. Yeah, and that just stays at 325. And that's because we don't copy the buffer. We are using... This code was modified from a delay buffer. And a delay buffer will work like... I'm going to move... A delay buffer simply works like this, right? You have a sound, it's been recorded before, and then when you have an output, this is the delay buffer and this is output, um, no input, this is the input buffer, yeah, so before we were taking this input buffer and using it as a delay buffer, so we weren't doing a mem copy, we were just having one buffer and adding references to this. And this was okay because we were taking elements from this so-called delay buffer. It's, it's still there. I mean, we can still use it as a delay buffer. We were taking elements from the past 
and adding it to the future like so. So what this would do is Let me think about this. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> it seems like this would overwrite the delay samples too, because this refers to this. And then that would feed back, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that was just an uh, infinite response impulse, infinite impulse response filter. So you can get neat effects when you do this in short periods. For what we're doing, that doesn't work so well. Because, uh, this and this end up being the same. Except that um, this part moves fast, uh, moves slower than this part, and that means we're copying back into ourselves when we go at the speed of one half. Somehow, that that probably doesn't make so much sense, but I'm pretty sure that's what the error is. Yeah, but great, we've got the error, we've got an idea of what the bug is, and now we can fix it. So that calls for a celebration and a brief water drinking session. Okay. So... We've got here this window table, the delay buff, yeah. So I'm going to guess if we make a copy here, uh, yeah, the reason it would work last time is because we were having, we were multiplying by 0.5. We were doing a plus equals here, so that that's what a FIR filter delay filter thing would, would look like. You have a plus equals and you don't do it overwrite. But here we're actually overwriting we're overwriting the stuff that we're going to be using as the delay buffer. And that's no good. That's going to create just a constant DC of at whatever the first sample was. And that makes total sense. I mean that's the absolute cause of the bug. So how can we fix that? Well Easiest way is to do a mem copy here when we push the buffers back. Instead of pushing the original input buffer, um, yeah, for efficiency, the input and output buffer use the same chunk of memory. And if we need to um, make our copies, that's for us to do. So, the thing is though, we don't really need. Uh, we won't use that much memory in our own buffers. We will just need a short, we will need copies, yeah, but we will need to copy each input for now. So let's just do that. That's the easiest way to go about. And I don't believe we have a, a memory copy function. So I'm going to go ahead and write one in. Um, in the audio manager, the audio mixer. Yeah, so if we look at this, yeah, there's a filter buffer. There's probably a request filter buffer. And we should also have a clone filter buffer. I almost dropped my iPhone. So one of these, I 
and that will take as input filter buffer. Yeah, and we can go ahead and implement it here. I'm working on my posture every day that I do the stream. It's one of the main reasons I do the stream. <laughs> and today's today's gimmick is putting a piece of tape on your back across so behind my shoulders right across you do, you do that in a good pot uh, good while you have good posture and that will prevent the hunching over because once you start to do that you'll feel the tape become taut and that'll just be a reminder it's enough for you to not to not do that okay so here's the where the code would go. Hmm, looks like we were doing a mem set there. Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like we can break this code up. We can refactor that. Because we're going to be using it here too. I guess the mem set is usually useful. No, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, there should really be a flag if we need the mem set or not. Let me make a comment. To do uh, C flag comment below. Yeah, so this stuff here is general purpose. The malloc and the ref count. And the push back is not really needed. Oh no, yes it is. Yeah, so we'll just have, we'll pretty much have this function. We'll pretty much have this function up here. Yeah. Mm, you know what? I'm just going to have the mem set thing. This is C++, so we can use default parameters. So we just say bool um, no bool has uh, should zero buff should zero. Yeah. So we just take that, put it over here, set that to true. So that'll be the default behavior. And that way, um, we can avoid calling it here, because we want to create a new buffer. So we'll have to do that. We'll call it clone equals uh, request filter buffer. Right. And the buff size is just buff. Um, chance that might be no buff uh, what is that called num num frames yeah so we just ask for one that size now that we have it we can just mem copy uh, yeah and later we might do something clever I don't know but I don't, yeah, for now we definitely don't want to do something weird like implementing a cache or some map memory that gets, yeah, that's like operating level system stuff. Operating level, operating system level stuff. So what we do here is just mem copy, the dreaded mem copy, and we are 